Hey everyone, it's Adam here and welcome to a video on what is in my pickup truck. This is a video I've been wanting to do for a very long time, but if you're not new to the channel, you know this is a daily vlog channel, so this video is gonna be a little bit different than a regular typical daily vlog. We're just gonna be taking a look at what is in my truck. I've had this truck for about four months now, which feels crazy. I've gone on a few road trips and uh, I've kind of accumulated some things. I'm not gonna go over the exterior of the truck, what it is, all that stuff. I will link a video up top in the cards as well as in the description where you can check that out. We're just gonna take a look at what I have inside the truck. So, without further ado, let's start with the keys. So here's the keys. Uh, they don't look that interesting, right? But that's because that's by design. A lot of people love to throw lots of stuff on their keys and they're all jangly and I hate that. All I want on my key is one bright carabiner so that I never lose the key because it's reflective and I also like clipping it to a belt loop on my pants close to my crotch <sighs> because sometimes I'll put my keys in my pocket and if I sit down in like a movie theater or something they can fall out if I clip this to my belt loop right near my crotch not like right in front of it but like to the side no one's gonna be able to steal it from me so that's why I like to have one bright red carabiner on there and nothing else climbing into the truck down here in this cup holder is my pick holder. I've got toothpicks and guitar picks. Guitar for guitar, obviously. And I like to have a toothpick when I drive. It's just, it's like a fidget spinner, but way cheaper. I just like to fidget with it. In my mouth, of course, not like with my fingers. Coming over here to this center console, this is emergency money. Uh, to get to my cottage where I am right now, we take a ferry and it's like 10 bucks Canadian. So I got some uh, spare change in there and just emergency money for fuel or whatever. Some gum, uh, a go pole. Okay, I didn't like perfectly clean up the truck because this is how it normally looks. This is a, uh, this is the key to my mailbox as well as a little ode to my original channel which also happens to be a USB stick, so a little Nerf gun USB there. And an auxiliary cord, obviously. This beef jerky, so I don't always keep this in here, but since I drove up to my cottage last night, we got some beef jerky in there, one of my favorite road snacks. This is my truck mug. This truck mug is laser designed to fit General Motors cup holders. So as you see, it's a perfect fit. It's insulated, camouflage, never spills on you. It's just, uh, it's my truck mug. Now let's take a look in this center console. Like most consoles, it has these runners so that uh, you can run cables through it. So I always have a USB-C type cable running through there. Now when I don't use it, it just sits like that. When I need it, I can pull it out like that. It's really quite ingenious. Typically, if I'm to get into my truck, I'm gonna take the USB-C, plug it into my phone, which happens to be a Pixel, which uses the C-type, and then through plugging it in through there, this USB then runs into there, which I can then utilize Android Auto for. Of course, um, all GM vehicles come with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all that stuff. So I can utilize all that, you know, play my music, all stuff hands-free. So that's just, that's how I plug in my phone. And then in the console, I have an Apple cable for those Apple users. And I also have a micro USB for those stuck in the past and a long auxiliary cord as well. So you have a longer auxiliary because the one that's currently in there only goes to about here. But if someone in the back seat wants to play their tunes, I got a longer one, but I didn't want to have a super long auxiliary cord like tangled up. So I have a really short one in there. We also got some napkins in there. Um, you always want napkins in your vehicle microfiber cloth, pen and paper for writing stuff down when technology fails. Alrighty, switching sides now in the passenger seat. Let's take a look at this glove box. This is all manuals and stuff. But in here we have this funnel. This is for filling up gas with a jerry can. So since my truck has one of those fancy auto siphoning things, uh, this allows you to put it in. It goes through the mechanism so that you can just pour gas in without having the big gas Thing. Anyways, it's a funnel. I also use this. It's just a good funnel. I use it for filling up um, windshield washer fluid. Yeah. We got some other essentials in here. Like um, this is sunscreen. Fun fact, I can only use kid sunscreen because I have super sensitive skin. There is a chemical in aerosol cans that allow stuff to be oily and like really fine. But when that stuff touches my skin, I get a rash. So I have to use uh, no spray on sunscreens for me. So I got some kids banana boat. Got some after bite courtesy of my girlfriend. Thanks, Gemma. Exacto knife for obvious reasons. Multi-tool. This is a uh, Swiss Tech multi-tool. Um, it's all right. It doesn't have a blade on it. 
Uh, if it did have a blade, I wouldn't need to carry a box cutter, but uh, it doesn't. It just has a lot of screwdrivers, pliers, um, you know, th those sort of things. It's it's all right. It's it's pretty big. But yeah, I like that it's like credit card shaped. That's pretty cool. Got a Sharpie again for the pen and paper deal. Uh, and then these are ironclad heavy work gloves. And these are like the best work gloves in the business. I actually got these down in Florida while I was there because you can't get ironclad in Canada very easily. But I love these. This is a patch kit for a uh, air mattress that we used camping. Didn't know that was there. This is a jet lighter. Doesn't work that well. I got it on Amazon, but um, yeah, it's a really powerful beam. It's good. And then these things, which thank goodness I haven't had to use yet. That new car scent. Um, believe it or not, that's it for the front. A lot of you guys may think that's nothing. A lot of you may think, wow, you keep a lot of crap in your truck. Could be true. Let's go to the back. Now the back's where it gets interesting. <laughs> so remember when I said I didn't clean up the truck perfectly for you guys? This is just kind of how it always is. This is my dad's childhood doll. He wanted me to bring this up to our grandparents' cottage to keep there. So this is in the back seat currently. I got this truck inverter. I haven't actually hooked it up yet, but it allows you to do, uh, converts the 12 volt DC battery power to 120 volt AC. So that converts that to house power. I use it for charging camera batteries on the go or laptop for editing my videos, that sort of thing. Uh, and if you hook it right up to the actual battery, then it becomes like 300 watts and it's like super powerful. I had a, like a cheap Chinese one from Amazon, but it like broke and never worked. So I had to get that under here. This is a good example of something I didn't think I would need in my truck. And I guess technically it's something you don't, but I carry it because um, I'm always using them. Socket set. I like to do a lot of work on my own truck and a lot of work on my motorcycle. So I went out and bought my own socket set because they're really, really helpful. It's not just sockets. We also got a screwdriver in there with all the bits. So uh, that's just a really useful kind of travel sized Husky, uh, got it from Home Depot. And that just kind of goes on to here. I got a raincoat in there again. I guess this sort of thing will come and go, but currently there's a raincoat and hiking boots because I plan to do a hike later. And then everything else is in these little fun hidden compartments. So we can flip these up and there's some stuff under here. I keep um, duct tape and WD-40 in there, which is, you know, two essentials. You can't really see much from this side. So we'll, we'll flip up that one on the other side. So one thing I want to mention is that I normally keep a really nice warm blanket in here. Underneath here, where you see this tow rope, this bright orange tow rope, which I also always have, I normally bundle that up and put it right in here and that fits in there. And then there goes a big blanket because you should always have a nice blanket in your truck or any vehicle. These are the wheel locks for my wheels. So can't steal my ass wheels. We got another microfiber in there, kind of like a large size one. And then some uh, fuel cleaner, courtesy of my girlfriend's mom. She just gave it to me, so cool. It's a first aid kit, obvious reasons. Uh, jumper cables and uh, kind of like a car booster kit thing. And that's pretty much it for the inside of the uh, truck. I got a lot of plans to do stuff to the outside. Well, not a ton, but uh, stuff I'll keep you updated with. I suppose I should show you, even though there's nothing in it and I never keep anything in it, I use it for traveling stuff, but like, I don't just keep stuff in my tailgate all the time. As you can see, she's empty back there, but I do have a uh, bungee cord to like strap stuff in. And this is the backflip MX-4 folding tonneau cover. I love this tonneau cover. I think it's the best one on the market. And you can actually close the tailgate with the tonneau cover down, which is a very unique feature because normally with these hard covers, you have to lift that up, close your tailgate, and then bring it back down. But this MX-4 series from Backflip allows you to do either, and it's completely waterproof. It just poured rain last night. There's not a single bit of water in that bed. Um, so that's something I think I never told you guys about, the Backflip MX-4 tonneau cover. Um, but that's not the inside of the truck. I guess the bed counts, but uh, that's it. So let me know uh, if you guys are new to the channel and you just clicked on it because you're like, a truck enthusiast and you have a truck of your own or you're looking to get one let me know some things you keep in your truck that i don't or uh things you think are cool that i keep that you never thought of any sort of thing like that let me know in the comments below or if you're just a fan from the everyday vlogs and you actually stuck through this entire video be sure to hit that like button because it really really 
really helps out. Also, as I mentioned, this video is a one-off from the regular vlogs, which I do make occasionally. So we'll be back with the regular vlogs tomorrow and the next day and the next day and so on and so forth. So subscribe and hit the notification button so you can uh, be up to date with everything. But uh, with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, this was Adam signing off.